Hello everyone, I am Peter Okibukola and very happy to welcome you to Lagos State University Africa Center of Excellence for Innovative and Transformative STEM Education. We have set up our online classes, coronavirus has locked us all down, but we're going to have some fun, we're going to enjoy it, enjoy the online courses that we are bringing uh, to you. So this video is to introduce you to our virtual delivery platform. So here we go. So here we are with the guide to using the lasso. It's, it's a virtual learning environment. Uh, please mind how I pronounced our acronym. It's, it's Africa Center of Excellence. All the centers are World Bank supported projects, so they are called ACES. So it's ACES, the it's Africa Center of Excellence for innovative and transformative uh, STEM education. Now, this is a virtual learning environment guide, as I mentioned in the introduction. And uh, I begin by bringing greetings from our great Vice Chancellor, Professor Larry Wadju at Fabo, SAN, MPOM, who is a general superintendent of uh, the project. I also bring you greetings from our facilitators. They are the world's best. You can't find this array, this galaxy of uh, five-star scholars, experts, uh, brought together for a project. You can see them all for a ACE 811911, Advanced Educational Research Methods and Statistics 1 and 2. These are the world's best from, Euro from the U.S., from Burundi, from, uh, as you can see, all of them. You've interacting with them. You're very lucky. I'm also very lucky that we are part of this uh, exciting project. For 812912, that's advanced trends in STEM education and graduate seminar, you can see them all. 15 world experts, they are, they are welcoming you as students. And then for the third course, uh, 813913, of course there are two of them bundled together, making six in total, the cultural, techno, contextual approach to STEM education and research you can see our seven uh, facilitators. So there are two delivery platforms, dear students, uh, uh, dear facilitators. There are two delivery platforms for the LASSO is its a virtual learning environment. The bigger one is a special virtual class. And then the other one is the Zoom class. So let us uh, share with you things that you need to know about our special virtual class. First, as a registered student, you must have received a pass from us. That's uh, pass to AC811911, pass to AC812912, and to 8813913. Now, if you are not a registered student, you may you are not able to get into our class. That, these, these are the keys. Three keys were well given to you, these three uh, passes. So, when you enter, what, what does it look like? I mean, it's a virtual class. Advanced Educational Research Methods class, for instance, is coronavirus free. Oh, how lucky can one get? So you're coming into an environment, the last two ACC virtual environment, virtual learning environment, that is coronavirus free. So, uh, how do we get in there? Uh, let's have a practical demonstration uh, within this guide uh, about how to get into a uh, virtual learning environment. Just three steps. Step one is to click on the pass that you were given. Just click on the pass for the course. Then step two is you enter the virtual class. When you enter the virtual class, you can take your live lectures. You can participate in the discussion forum, take your quiz, assignments to be given, you do your assignments and submit. And there are live workshops on Saturdays. You, to, you have opportunity to participate. participate. Without your uh, without your pass, you cannot get into a uh, specialized virtual classroom. Please note that all the resources will be available for you offline to study. In other words, this is a virtual learning environment. It's an online delivery system. You're going to have virtual interactions. But just know that in an event you miss any, any virtual class or any of these, you can go back to your class, use your key to open the classroom, and then you have all these resources are there for you to study offline. And it will give you an opportunity 
uh, to interact with your classmates and uh, other facilita the facilitators on the program. Let me now give you a full practical demonstration of how you can achieve these three steps. So stand by. Oh yes, so step one, as you recall, is that you will have to use your pass. So every registered student has this pass. Three passes to the six courses. So let's take 811-8911. What you do, as I said, is to click on the... Yeah, so let's take a uh, pass to AC811. So I'll click on it and uh, let's see what happens. I've just clicked on it and it takes me to our virtual learning site and it's asking me to authenticate. I'm going to put my username. So as a student, you put your username during your registration. How do you do your registration? I'll put your password. Uh, you can ask it to remember your username uh, for next time. So let us see what comes up. Now it lands you in 811. You note that you asked it to take you to 811911. So this is where we are. So this is a virtual learning environment. Uh, and you can see the classroom that I mentioned in the earlier part of this presentation. So how do you go around this thing? It's so easy. It's as easy as ABC. You see this block here, it's called navigation. So you can navigate throughout this whole, this whole uh, classroom, virtual classroom from here. So you have the participants, you have the badges, you have the welcome, but look at this middle column. Uh, let's look at the course facilitators. So you just click on uh, this and you find our course facilitators uh, that I showed you in the earlier presentation. So you can also navigate from here uh, we are looking at course facilitators. You can go to 811911 here and uh, your course objectives, course content, and course policy. I've just clicked on it, so it takes you to this. So you see the details of all our resource persons and uh, the calendar from day to day. So, uh, Monday 6th of April, when we're flagging off, uh, you can see uh, the live uh, lectures that will be coming on and all the rest of them so let us go back to our site and uh, you can click on this that's the week of 6 to 11 of april by clicking on this we take you to more details so you have the general introduction to the course which i'll be given this site is uh, not been fully populated yet uh today being uh, the 5th of april uh, later this evening everything populated so there'll be a video you're going to have videos uh, all through uh, the contents of the course here. So, what is the video below? The video I'm preparing, you'll get it uh, running. So, let's go to this navigation block. Research process, that's uh, the presentation that uh, Professor Olusha La Desopere from the U.S. will be giving to us. So you're going to have the video there after the live, live class. And then your discussion forum, that will be on Thursday. On Thursday, you have a discussion forum and uh, what you are expected to do, I've actually posted the topic for the discussion forum for Thursday. That is, State 3 Emerging Trends in Educational Research. Are African scholars coping with these trends? You have to discuss this, answer this question. The maximum word count is 200. So, you read this, where do you go? Just come to here and say reply. When you click reply, you can then type your message, your answer to that question here. Or maybe if you have prepared it elsewhere in Microsoft Word, you copy and then paste, and then you say post to forum. Very easy. So uh, let's see what other things we are having here. You have the quiz, the quiz, the first quiz for the uh, for this course, uh, AC eight one one nine one one. Yeah, you can see no questions have been added yet. Select from the alternative A to D, the option that best answers the question or completes the statement. I'm going to edit this as well. So, no questions yet. So, I'm getting back to course. But when uh, the quiz is open, you are going to get the questions and fire off. It's, uh, it will mean, score everything. You know, uh, I'm, going to, I'm sure you're going to score all the, all the items uh, correctly. So, that is what this one is. 
the pass to 811 brought you here. As I said, you can be navigating to the other courses from here. So let's get back to the pass uh, for 812. So I'm clicking on the pass for 812, 912. So as a registered student, it takes me to that course. Advanced Trends in STEM Education and Graduate Seminar. The navigation is the same as uh, for 811. Let's get back to the pass and then go to uh, 813913. It will take you straight to that course. How easy can this be? So that's the course. The Cultural Techno Contextual Approach to STEM Education and Research. It takes you here and then uh, I'm going to. The, you, nobody's enrolled for the course yet. I'm going to enroll everybody at the end of uh, at the end of this uh, presentation. So that, that that's more like it for the uh, specialized uh, virtual learning environment for Lasso ACC. So you can see that you can get back. You can navigate from here, as I said, navigate to courses. So these are the three, uh, the six courses. AC As I mentioned, the eight one one for the master students. The 911 for the doctoral students. We have about 80% doctoral students and 20% master students. So advanced trends, so you can see the courses. Yeah, yeah. It's quite easy, quite nice. So that is the practical demonstration of the three steps. Let us now move on to see the second platform of the Lasso is its a virtual learning environment can you recall the name of that platform yes anybody oh yes you are all very correct it is the zoom platform so let us see how that works for the zoom class we have only two steps the first step is that you receive an invitation and that invitation will specify the date of uh, the your appearance uh, in the Zoom class and the time. So all you need to do is, when you receive the invitation, is just join at the scheduled time and then you participate. Uh, how does it look like? You note that we had a, an orientation uh, meeting on Zoom. Uh, let me now show you excerpts of the Zoom meeting that we that, that uh, was held uh, by the facilitators. I'd like to very warmly welcome all our facilitators to this uh, very important inaugural meeting, which is like our orientation. Uh, special welcome to Professor Bill Kyle, uh, who is a global giant. Uh, he's sitting down. If he stands up, you'll find that he's as tall as a giant in uh, science, in science education, uh, also, Professor Alejandro Gayad, who is uh, is also yeah, is waving to us. Thank you, Alejandro. Uh, both of them are great friends of Africa, great friends of Nigeria, and we are deeply appreciative of your uh, offering service uh, in this uh, within this platform. I also like to welcome uh, Bill. Is uh, is just gone past 11 a.m. It's time. Alejandro, Professor Alejandro, after mid afternoon, and then you have Professor Shola Adeshope, who is uh, from University of Washington, Pullman. Uh, you will get to see him in action in a little while when he is a global expert in meta analysis. Uh, Shola, you welcome. It's about nine a.m. at your at your end. Uh, I'm not able to see Femi Jayola, Dr. Femi Jayola yet. Uh, I like to thank. All our colleagues from within it, Africa. It's, it's actually there, sir. I am here now. Good morning, sir. Good morning uh, from here. Uh, Dr. Emmanuel uh, Jayola, also from Washington uh, State University in in, in, a, in Pullman. Uh, welcome, uh, uh, Ben. So for Thank our you very much. colleagues. By the way, that's a very very short clip of. Uh, the Zoom meeting that the facilitators uh, held yesterday. When the students had the orientation meeting on Zoom too, uh, uh, a 
few days ago, we shared some tips. I'd like to remind you of uh, some of them. Uh, before you come to class, uh, please ensure that you are dressed in a way that others will appreciate you and not feel embarrassed by the way you uh, have appeared in class because it's going to be live and we're going to be seeing one another. And they must maintain quiet in class. If you want to speak and you are identified to speak, please unmute your microphone. And that is if you find that no other person is speaking. And after speaking, uh, please put your microphone on mute. What have we learned in this short introductory video? We, we had some practical tips on the two platforms of the Lasso AC virtual learning environment, the two being a specialized uh, platform and also the Zoom meeting platform. Coronavirus locking down everybody, locking us down, but cannot lock, or, it can be an impediment to our quality teaching and uh, learning. Before I go, I'd like to ask that you should have some fun. Now, I have two uh, jokes here for, for you. Since light travels faster than sound, people may appear smart until you hear them speak. Mm -hmm. Then the farmer told his dog to find the sheep and round them up. So when the dog came back, the farmer asked the dog how many sheep there were. And the dog said, 50. The man said, mm, that's funny. There were only 47 this morning. Oh, the dog replied, you said, as you ran them up, round up. So the dog rounded up 47 to 50. Have some fun, some fun. We're going to enjoy ourselves plenty, 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 plenty during the course of the next three months. Until then, it is bye-bye from me, Peter Okebukola. Okay,